Yeah, we have just a ton of sports going on this weekend. We have uh, women's basketball, men's wrestling, track and fields back again. It seemed like last weekend just about everything was at home, but this weekend we have just a few teams. Despite the Iowa women's basketball team losing to Minnesota 77-72 last Sunday, the team had a positive mentality going into tonight's game against the number 12 ranked team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes. We're on a little bit of a skid here, so we're even hungrier than we usually are for a win. Um, and it's a great opportunity to have such a highly ranked team coming into our home court, and hopefully we can make some noise. We have to put a, like a performance together like we did against Florida State. I mean, we're going to have to play a really good game because this is a really good team coming in here. There's no room for error with this team, but it would be a, a huge motivator for our team to come out and get a good W. And, and obviously, you know, they're excited to play. We've had a lot of road games recently, and it's going to be awesome to have the fan base there supporting us. And uh, we just hope to have a lot of fans out there, and um, we're really excited to play back at home. And we're in all of these games that we're playing. Um, we just got to close them out uh, a little better than we have been. So we're just going to keep our heads Heads up, keep working as hard as we can, and just keep trying to get better every single day. That's really all you can do. Hopefully the number 25 ranked Hawks can come out with a win tonight in Carver. It's at 7 p.m. The first 2,000 fans will receive a bobblehead of head coach Lisa Bluter, so be sure to get to Carver early tonight. One Hawkeye wrestler is receiving some national attention after upsetting the number one ranked 125-pound wrestler in the country, Nathan Tomasello, in the Hawks' loss at Ohio State this weekend. Freshman Spencer Lee was named Big Ten Wrestler of the Week, as well as the NCAA Wrestler of the Week. The NCAA honors decided via fans on Twitter. Spencer Lee is 9-1 this season, which includes three top ten wins, uh, three wins over top ten opponents. Coming off a tough loss, however, to Ohio State last Sunday, the Iowa wrestling team is looking to rebound against the Michigan Wolverines. Sunday's lone bright spot was 125-pounder Spencer Lee upsetting number one ranked Nathan Tomasello. And as we mentioned, Lee jumped all the way to number three in the rankings this week following the win. Brandon Sorensen, Michael Kemmer, and Alex Marinelli also strolled out of Columbus with wins on Sunday. But as head coach Tom Brands reminds us, a true competitor is never satisfied. I mean, I look at the best guys that we have in our room, the best guys that have been through the program. I look at Dan Gable and what he stood for, and never satisfied comes to mind. So guys like, you know, Kemmer and... Sorensen and Marinelli and Spencer Lee and really all of the guys in our lineup, um, it's hard to be satisfied when you walk off the mat. And there's always things to improve, whether win or loss. So, I mean, sometimes you, learn, you win, I mean, you learn more from losses or you learn more from wins. I mean, it doesn't really, everyone says it's either winning or learning, right? But uh, obviously it's nice to, to not lose. I mean, I'm a competitor. No, no one goes on that mat saying, man, I really hope I lose today, you know? Iowa will host Michigan this Saturday night at Carver Hawkeye Arena at 5 o'clock. 16 wrestlers in the top 20 of their respective weight classes will be there, so it should make for a good, exciting match. Big Ten Conference announced Wednesday that junior track athlete Brianna Guillory was named the Big Ten Track Athlete of the Week. This honor comes after Guillory recorded the fastest 400-meter time in the country this past weekend. Guillory finished second in the event behind former Olympian George Ann Moline. Guillory also helped the 4x400-meter relay to a first-place finish where they recorded the 10th best time in the country. Speaking of the track team, this past weekend at the Larry Wachorik Invitational, Guillory wasn't the only athlete to have an impressive performance. DITV sports reporter Casey Lindenkrantz has the story. Of the 41 events held Saturday, the 3,000-meter run was the longest event for a single competitor. On the women's side, Andrea Shine set a personal best when she posted a time of 9.39.02. In the endurance events where preparation is key, Shine discussed how her cross-country experience aids in her performance on the track. I think the training that we do during cross-country really helps for track because we focus a lot on intervals, even if they're over grass or on the golf course. So then when we come in here and mimic that style on the track, I feel prepared and I'm not too out of my element. It isn't to say things carry over from cross country to track entirely though. Especially with this big track, it feels a little different, like uh, taking the turns you really have to have more precision I feel in track than in cross, but um, I'd say the footing isn't as much of a difference, it's just the tactics in the race. Even though Shine did post a personal best, she didn't finish first, so there is room for improvement. I'm really happy with a new PR 
PR and everything, but I think at some points in the race I might have gotten a little complacent. So I just want to remember to stay strong throughout the entire race, especially when it gets lengthy with the number of laps. Shine plans to evolve as a runner as she looks to the rest of the season. Reporting from the University of Iowa Recreation Building, this is Casey Lindekrantz, DITV Sports. Shine and the rest of the track team will be back in action this weekend for the Black and Gold premiere. Be sure to tune back in Monday for results, highlights, and more from the event. Tune in tomorrow as our very own Mary-Kate Heron and Zach Mackey will break down Iowa basketball's road game at Nebraska. Guys, back to you.